The purpose of today's discussion is obviously to unpack the impact that COVID-19 has had on digitalization and particularly on our industry, the contact center industry. I think it's fair to say that the advent of COVID-19 has done more for digitalization and I think has driven more change and innovation in our industry in the space of three months as compared to, I'm going to say, possibly even decades. COVID has not had the same impact on all industries. It's certainly not a one size fits all. For years now, we have unpacked the power of technology. We've embraced and we've discussed, you know, the race to the cloud. We've spoken around concepts and we've seen companies embrace omni-channel strategies, you know, service customers in multiple channels. But I think if you pause for a second, some have done it far more aggressively, possibly far more successfully than others. Some have been a bit more risk averse. And I think the one topic of conversation that we've been having for several years that we never got off the ground was this concept of remote agents, of shifting work and actually changing our operating model. To build on that, what we've seen is at the peak of lockdown level four, we had mobilized almost 100,000 agents to work from home. Not only were companies able to respond so rapidly, but we're also finding that certain companies that we've engaged with have decided that post COVID and post lockdown, they won't be returning to the traditional office spaces anymore. The threat that the pandemic poses to our infrastructure that has resulted in empty offices and grounded airplanes, we've all come to realize that, you know, using technology, leveraging technology, we are still able to conduct business and to conclude deals, to create the trust and build the rapport that we need to without having to incur the cost of international travel and obviously at the moment local travel as well. Being confined to an office space is almost an outdated concept. And if you think about it, technology has evolved so rapidly over the last couple of years and we're really seeing that driving a digital agenda and embracing that certainly has its benefits. The actual physical cost of having people in a building can rack up an enormous amount of money. The amount of money we've actually saved on something as basic as toilet paper and tea and coffee and electricity on all our buildings just being significantly reduced. Those are the type of areas that are going to offset not only the costs for the data, but things such as particularly our branch environment, sanitation and cleaning, etc. We have seen an unbelievable increase in productivity. But of course, with every upside, there's a bit of a downside, right? So I think we do also have to be realistic. And we need to consider that for many, fatigue is starting to settle in. Without a doubt, I would say the comments I hear most often, and this is when I talk to agents, when I talk to leaders within the industry, managers within business, the resounding comment that comes up is what people miss the most about the old way of doing work is the human touch, the human connection. For a while now, you know, the buzzwords in our industry have been machine learning and AI and robotics, and that's a reality. It's become part of our lives. If you don't believe me, go and Google search something and then look at your social media news feed. It's a very different model for us, completely different. We're using Teams to do the facilitation, but it has its own challenges and we're having to learn how to do that, which is quite different, but very exciting. I mean, we're very excited. There's a lot of innovation in this space for us.